Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Next Weather Meteorologist Dave Warren has more on our endless summer temperatures, <laughs> Dave. Endless. I'm trying to find an end, uh, but we don't see much in the uh, no. uh, seven day forecast. So it's still, it's uh, early October, so dealing with the heat and what is triggering uh, the showers moving through the area is now moving out of the area. So that one that developed right around west and southwest ranches has just crossed over 27. Maybe a lingering shower there, but that's it. There's a few lightning strikes there, uh, but it's all moved out so over the interior now. Uh, it has cooled off a bit near the coast. Likely these numbers here, Pembroke Pines and Opelika there at 90 will be dropping thanks to that shower that worked its way through the area. But otherwise, it's a warm, muggy night in the mid to upper 80s there in the Keys. Uh, there's a live view looking off of the distance. That's that shower that uh, pushed up, pushed away from the area here. Towering clouds in the western sky. They'll continue to move farther away to the west here. Thursday, more the same hot and humid. We're still mainly dry. We're in this little uh, donut hole of moisture to the north, to the south, but not over us here in South Florida. That's an inland shower or storm is possible there in the afternoon. Now we're getting a surge of moisture coming into the Gulf. Not the best timing because from Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that moisture spreads east, uh, watching for possible development there in the Gulf. Uh, if it does so, it could increase our rain chances here over the weekend. We'll keep the rain chances pretty high ne next week. A front working its way south is trying to pull some drier air in, but it just doesn't make it here, uh, at least over the next few days. Now, uh, keeping an eye on the tropics, uh, there's one storm that we want to watch. This is tropical depression. Watching this one here because it's still pretty low latitude, moving to the west, but starting to turn a bit to the north. Could become a hurricane here over the next 24 hours. Uh, but then the forecast models are starting to hint at that turn uh, to the north there, but uh, there's still a few continuing to move it to the northwest, something that we'll continue to monitor. Likely will take the same path of Kirk, which is a, a hurricane now forecast to become a major hurricane, but turning to the north and going out into the North Atlantic. This is the one we're watching. Uh, the area to watch is still in the Caribbean here, but this development potential encompassing much of the Gulf of Mexico here. Just a general circulation here. The showers increasing a bit going around that area of high pressure. Then it will encounter the jet stream, which will push it back to the east here. Now the development doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of moisture with it. In fact, over the next few days, we're looking at rain chances increasing and especially over the weekend could watch for the flood potential here. A lot of the rain staying along the Gulf Coast, maybe trying to work its way into South Florida, but the rain chances go down to diminish a bit as you push a bit to the south. We'll keep an eye out for those showers around tomorrow morning and then maybe even tomorrow night. Otherwise, storms will be over the interior. We hit 92 there at two o'clock. Next weather seven day forecast. We'll keep the temperatures there into the mid to low 90s. Right about Saturday to Sunday, we start to up those rain chances there. They really increase Sunday, and then we're keeping the temperatures into the upper 80s Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's tropical moisture, increasing our shower chances there by the end of the seven-day forecast.